Hi everyone and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. This is part three and we did manage to do a bit of feed yesterday. We've managed to feed the sheep so they should be happy. We've also started the silage clamp but we now have to work on the cows and then we'll be later on in the series doing the uh, the beef mod and the pigs as well. But for now I think what I want to do is do the silage bales. I've downloaded the little mod thing which allows you to bale just grass without doing tethering um, so it's not actually hay so that should be quite interesting I've also downloaded the Nova Cat for the front of the tractor like there was in FS13 I'm not sure why they didn't carry that over into FS15 but I have downloaded it the only issue is I'm gonna to have to use the case because that's the higher horsepower tractor and obviously if we're running two it takes more power so yeah we sold some grain yesterday and we should now, yeah we can, we can now afford this one, £4,350. So that is something we can actually buy and I think we'll be using that quite a bit. But I'll drive over to Chantry Farm, I'll pick up the Nova Cat for the back and then we'll head over to the store and pick up the one for the front. So I thought it would be better to do it like this because otherwise it means putting the Coon one on the front and that one obviously doesn't match the rear one. So. I think it would be nice to have matching mowers. And then we'll be heading over to another field which we own. Now these are bigger actually, 21 and 22. They're the other two fields that we do own which are, are grass. So uh, I'm going to do number 21. We've done it before in Cobra Farm Series 1. But I'm going to do it again. And I might put the Follow Me worker on as well. But I'm not sure yet because the issue might be that the windrower is wider than the actual cutting width that we're doing. I don't know if that would be too much of a problem. I just don't want it to overlap. So I could give it a go. But if there's any issues, I'll have to stop doing that. Right, so we'll just pick this one up again. I know this is fairly similar to yesterday, but what we're gonna do is once we've done the silage belts, once we've actually bailed them, I'm going to wrap them. Uh, it might mean hiring the uh, bale wrapper because it's quite expensive for the amount of money we've got but I still want to wrap them I've not done any bale wrapping on this map yet so I thought that would be quite nice to do and then we'll obviously have to find a place to store them now wrap bales I believe can be stored outside So they might actually stay on the edge of the field somewhere over there, I'm not sure. But we won't be wrapping them today, so let me know. Let me know what you think, where you think I should put them. It's just, I don't want to sort of clutter up the yard with loads of bales. Right, so here we go. It's looking good. I've not seen it before. I've not used it since FS13. I believe it's sort of been uh, retextured re a bit to make it match this one. But it does look good. Much better than having mismatching mowers. Definitely. Anyway, we'll take this up to that field now. You can see it from here, obviously I can't point, but it's one of those ones just over there on the horizon. Right, we'll just jump out and open the gate. Um, I'm not sure which end it is, but oh, that was right, good. I'll have to shut it again, or we'll let the cows out. Right, so it's not this field, it's actually the next one on. If you watch my previous series you probably will remember it. So 
So it's not the biggest field ever. In fact, I think it's been reduced. It doesn't look as big as it was. Oh no, I might be wrong. Hmm. I'm not sure. Looks a little smaller than it used to, but that could just be me. Probably is just me. Uh, yeah, we'll fold this down and get cracking. And I think, yeah, realistically, the uh, windrower is probably too wide to be following, so I'll do that in a minute. I don't think this will take too long. But it does make a big difference having one on the front as well. And it also means I'm not flattening uh, the grass in front of me before I cut it. visibility in this tractor isn't as good as that little T4 for seeing that rear mower. I think the T4 is a good one for visibility wise because obviously it's much smaller but the fact that you can't put a weight on the front lets it down really because it would have been okay yesterday if it hadn't been for lack of weight on the front. It's nice that the grass is always so well maintained. No horrible weeds in the middle. Virtually done, just coming to the end. Now we'll be able to roll this up. We don't have to tether it, like I say, because we're going to do silage bales. Never done silage bales, I've wanted to. Um, I was going to do it in uh, Series 1, but I never downloaded the mod which allowed you to bale just cut grass. So this will be interesting. looking forward to doing it and I've only used the bale wrapper once in the Baltic village map back in January. I enjoy using it. It's quite slow. It's quite a slow job but I think it's quite a therapeutic job. You see it wrapping everything. But something about the uh, bale wrapper which I wish you could do is change the actual bale wrap because it's just like a continuous thing in this game and it never runs out. If you could actually change that, it'd be good. But there's always things which they can improve on in the future. And the change between FS13 and 15 just to me is it's just amazing. It's massive. So I think between uh, 15 and whatever the next one is, it seems to be every two years, don't they? Um, it should be just incredible. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, here we go. I will uh, fold that up. And we'll take this back to the yard. Now, this wasn't the tractor I wanted to do it with, obviously, because it was uh, the tractor I was going to do cultivation with, but it was the highest horsepower one that I've got, so I thought it was probably the most suitable. But coming soon, as probably all of you know by now, is the JCB pack. I cannot wait, it's going to be amazing. As soon as I saw the link for it, I just clicked on it immediately and just clicked buy it now straight away. Pre-order. Oh, I cannot wait for that. What the? What is that doing there? That was in there when I left it. That is so weird. It's the weird spawning tether. Oh well, we'll have to put that back. But for now, I'll just put this one in. That one can go in second. Right, 
so I'll just put that in there. Hopefully it won't come out again. Clearly doesn't like being in here. Um, and uh, yeah, we need to jump into this one, the stay attractor. And we'll go and rope that field really quickly. And once we've done the bale wrapping, of course that's a good excuse to use that Merlot. For all of you looking forward to using that. Let's just shut the gate. I think this tractor really is best for just yard work and uh, light use. When the JCB pack comes, I'm hoping to use all of those machines. So, I would imagine I'll be getting rid of this tractor then. To replace it with the smaller JCB. I don't know the exact model number of it, but um, I'm hoping to get the small one for all the yard work around here. And, thinking about it, I could actually have the baler following me, but I'm worried it's going to miss bits, so I think I'll do that don't really want to have any bits left. I think that my favourite thing about this tractor though is the dashboard. It's quite a nice dashboard, you can see everything quite clearly and it's quite modern so that's pretty decent really. It reminds me quite a lot of the Kubota tractor the larger ones that they do. It does seem to be that kind of thing. I don't really know much about Steyr. I don't really know where they're based or anything, but they do seem to be very similar to Kubota. Kubota do seem to be doing really well though with their uh, profits. They seem to be a very profitable business. I love Kubota compact tractors, and they're really well made. Can't really say much about the bigger ones. I've never really driven them too much, so they could be good as well. But I think Kubota pride themselves on cheap but good quality, which would explain high profits. As for the size of windrower, I think this one is actually a very suitable one for this farm, so I don't think I will be replacing it at any point. Uh, I can't really see the need to. I mean, the next size up is a nice one to use, but I'm just thinking, the grass fields on this map aren't that big. I think the biggest one there must be 25, so I don't think we'd ever have to replace this. I like it though, I like this windrower, it's a good one. And it also means I can use it on the lower horsepower tractors. But once I've got this done, I'll go and grab the baler, the round one, and we'll get it bailed up today. And we'll let them sit until tomorrow, when I will get the bale wrapper, I'll go and hire that. And of course I will actually have to sell some more grain to be able to afford the higher on that. Uh, I'm not sure what it would cost. I think it's 38000 to buy so it shouldn't be too much to rent but um, I don't think £2,000 is going to do it somehow. It probably would be more sense to actually do another field as well because we'd be paying for a day to rent it but yeah I don't know. We don't really need that many bells and the other field which we own is that one over there which is quite a large one so that would take quite a long time so I think this time I will just get cracking with the wrapping of this field and then maybe next time once we've bought another field we'll be able to do multiple fields final little bit yeah that should be good uh, so I'll go and put this back, I'll go and grab the baler, we'll do that with the, uh, probably the case, again, because it's got the high horsepower. I don't think the round one takes as much power, I'll have a quick look. 
Um, where are we? Bailing technology. Uh, this one here. 70, wow, 70 horsepower. Wow, that's not much. It's the square one then which takes a lot of power. So we could actually power it with this one. Okay, it's over here. Does look like a big thing though. Doesn't seem to be struggling. That mod is working fine. We are managing to bale the grass without tethering it, so that will come in handy in the future. This bit's really steep. Yeah, a bit more horsepower would be quite helpful. That JCB, which is coming out there, really will be the Perfect tractor to be doing this with. I cannot wait. Oh, it's going to be amazing. What's everyone's preferences on forestry then do you want me to do it at some point or not because forestry in this game seems to get a very mixed reaction like some people love it some people hate it I find it okay but I find it a very slow job um, just because of the controls really I obviously don't have a joystick so that doesn't really help I think if I did have a joystick it'd be a lot better But what I did last time was I left it until the end of the series. Uh, so I think I will do it at some point. Just not exactly sure when. I mean, I know it's a good way of making quick money. But I haven't, um, I'm not doing this series with the intention of making heaps and heaps of money. It's really to play as realistically as possible. Whereas I find series one... Um, I was trying to make as much as I possibly could, but that didn't really work out. I uh, didn't make too much in the end. In fact, I was about £160,000 in debt. So as long as I avoid that, then I think I'd be going okay. But of course, now we're playing on hard as well, so it will be even harder. But we've got the rental mod installed, and that should work really well. And it will be definitely in our favour. Um, like tomorrow, we'll be using the bale wrapper but we won't be paying full price for the thing because we won't be owning it and I really cannot wait until tomorrow's video loved in the bale wrapping don't think I've done it enough really so I want to pick up every single bit. I've never actually picked up everything in a field which looks a bit scruffy so I'm hoping this will be the first time that I've collected everything and bailed it all up. Hopefully. Obviously there's a few bits missed here and there already but I can still pick them up.
And the final bit, the bales over there have all rolled together. So we'll have to move them a bit when we do the wrapping. But there we go. That is the entire field baled. Eight bales out of that. Which is more than I got last time. But we'll take this back to the yard and then you know what we're doing tomorrow. We're doing some bale wrapping. But of course we do have to go and sell some grain first. Okay, so there we go. That is the bailing done for today. Thanks for watching everyone, and you can join me again tomorrow for more Cobra Park Farm. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.